For a couple minutes, I want to talk to you about angelic wealth bankers. Angelic wealth bankers. Because the bank system of the father in this end times is stronger than ever. In these end times. In, these, in, in the end times, the angelic wealth bankers are willing, ready, and prepared to supply the body of Christ with extreme increase to validify the word of God, to show you the validity of the word, how real it is, how powerful it is, and how productive it is. See, I, I want you to hear this as well, that the word of God is seed that has creative power in it that when you're speaking it, it also acquaints you with the ministering spirits that guide you to wealth. The ministering spirits rather not guide you, that minister wealth to you. The word of God has wealth words in it that when you speak it, the ministering spirits can minister that area of wealth to you and make it your reality. Wealth is the anointing of the Holy Ghost. You find out in Ecclesiastes that wealth is a gift from God. Find out in Deuteronomy 8 that wealth is power. Find out in Psalm 112 that wealth is supposed to be in your house. Find out in Isaiah 60 that wealth has gates. Wealth gates. There's actual wealth gates. There is a section in heaven where all God has is the wealth plan of God for you down here, daughter. You down here, son. There is a section in heaven right now that has your whole wealthy life in it. When you pray in the spirit, when you praise God, when you let him guide you to whose issues have you been anointed to fix their issues. When you're listening diligently to the voice of God, those wealth gates start opening for you over your life. I want to say this to you. That when the wealth gates open over your life. You not only get a revelation of the love of the father, but you also become anointed to transfer the love of the father to others. Why does God make you wealthy so that you can have enough for you and for others as well? He make you wealthy so that you can take care of somebody on earth. Somebody. Somebody. It ain't got to be 50 people. Somebody. You know, God loves you so much that he thinks about making you wealthy all the time. Can I tell you? Saints, the Bible says several times, I think in Psalm chapter 8, but it talks about how God is mindful of you. That means that his mind is full of you. And saints, sowing make God get tormented about you not having what you're supposed to have. Ah, I, 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 see, I can't, I can't say that unless I'm anointed to say it. You see what I'm saying? Like you got to be empowered to say some stuff because a natural man going to say, oh, God can't get. No, 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 no. Sowing creates torment for God. Seeing you without a harvest. So, so while people are praying for God to do something to deliver them, when your seed is going up before him constantly, you bombarding his palace. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus, I got to talk real quick. I got to talk real quick. You bombarding the palace of God with honor. And true worship is his fantasy fulfilled. 
The Father seeketh. So the Father already wants to bring you into his realm when you're a true worshiper. You ain't got to beg, scream, cry, convince, because the fact that you're walking in the graces of true worship, you already done impressed God. You already done flirted with him correctly. Your seed is a dance for God. Seed sowing is a private show for the Lord. A sower is entertainment for the Holy Ghost. If the Holy Ghost can be grieved, the Holy Ghost can be relieved and he's relieved around entertainers. A seed instruction is an offer to become a performer for God. Every time you sow, you're performing. When God liked your performance. You remember American Idol? On American Idol, when they perform good, they will graduate to the what? The next level. Hi, yeah, 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 yeah. Saints. When Peter sees your seed, he shouts. I, I'm about to say something I never heard before. I, I never said before because I just heard something that I never heard before. I just heard the Lord said that the 24 elders, they know your sowing account. And when, when, when you're sowing, that's why apostolic power start moving in your direction because the apostles are watching the seed. And see, what you got to understand is that when God sends you an apostle, your apostle is being taken over by the mantles of the apostles that operated with Jesus. So, so, so is, is a, I just heard the spirit of God said that uncommon apostleship take place. Uncommon apostleship. You ever heard that before? I, I, I mean, y'all heard that before. I know you heard it from your pastor back in the day. Dead by a tree of y'all heard that before. I know you heard it. Uncommon apostleship takes place when you tap into the law of the seed, <laughs> seed time, and harvest. See, Peter was a master sower. He was a master of the seed. See, what you have to understand about Peter is that he had a lot of access to Jesus because he knew how to sow. So, so when, when you see Peter operating in the text, and Peter having all type of uh, instructions being given, instructions being given, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. When he got instructions, Siri tried to interrupt me. Don't worry about it. You press your phone and it's, it's try to repeat what you say. And then they be repeating wrong stuff. You be like, I don't know why they on my team. They talk so. I don't know what titties you got. I ain't say titties. Nah, that's not me. I ain't say it, man. I'm talking about the, the phone said that. that don't, see, that wasn't my voice. I got deep voice. My voice got some bass on it. That voice got, it's got saxophone. That's saxophone. It's a saxophone voice. I ain't say nothing. That. That's a, this is a saxophone voice talking right here. I ain't say that. I said the end on my team. They trying to interpret it. The Siri trying to listen on the phone. Let me put this phone down. 
Blessed be God. <laughs> Uncommon apostleship take place when you operate in the law of the seed. Uncommon apostleship. Uncommon apostleship. Uncommon apostleship. Let's go to Romans chapter one, verse five. Through him, we receive grace and apostleship. Romans one, five. Through him, we receive grace and apostleship for obedience to the faith. Now, saints, what is the faith? Saints, the faith is the realm of the Holy Ghost where he exposes to you a certain work, a certain weapon, a certain law, in the spirit, the law of the spirit of life, Romans 8, 2. And he exposes it to you for you to use it for your own profit. No, I don't mean profit as profit of God. I mean profit as you benefit off of it. You become a creator, a dominator, an attractor, a magnet. The faith is the gospel, the good news, the response of God. But it's also the sacrifice, the surrender, the submission to get that response of God to manifest for you to experience that goodness, to ex experience those benefits. Because look what he said here. He said, we have received apostleship to bring uh, 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 um, apostleship for obedience. So the reason why the apostleship is there is because there's some type of activity going on in obedience to what? The faith. Saints, sowing is obedience to the faith. Praising God is obedience to the faith. Sanctification, obedience to the faith. Forgiving people is obedience to the faith. Patience is obedience to the faith. Being kind, obedience to the faith. Fruits of the spirit, obedience to the faith. Decreeing is obedience to the faith. Meditation is obedience to the faith. Meditating the word of God. Can I say this? That some wealth gates, you can't even enter it until you have a wealth imagination. Some wealth gates, you're going to have to learn how to meditate wealth. My God. You're going to have to see yourself wealthy. As a man thinks in his heart, so is he. Now watch this, that so is he, it matters. A lot of people won't let it matter because they're religious, but it does matter. As he thinks in his heart, so is he. Wait, that so is he matters. Because that so is he means that you could translate that constant meditation to become a reality of what you really are. You're thinking wealth, you'll become wealthy. Because while you're thinking well, the Holy Ghost is able to instruct you and teach you and mentor you so that the wealth can actually manifest. So that it won't always be a dream and a wish, but it can actually come to you because while you're thinking about it, you're telling the Holy Ghost, I'm ready for you to have a conversation with me about manifesting this thing. I'm ready for you to talk to me in the direction of this. Saints, I want you to see this. He'll do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that you could ask or think. So God piggybacks off of what you're thinking. 
Because if he's doing exceedingly abundantly above all that you could think, that means that God investigates your thoughts to see if you're thinking about something that he wants to bring to you in abundance. If he's doing exceedingly abundantly above all that you could think, that means that he investigates your thoughts to see what you're thinking. So if you're thinking about, well, what you think going to happen, he got to do exceedingly abundantly about. Saints, let me give you a secret. Solomon sold that thousand bread offerings, but Solomon had like him some money. Solomon had like thinking about himself as a king. He liked himself being that guy. He liked himself being that wisdom carrier. So watch what he did. He souls, he says, Lord, give me wisdom. But God says, Solomon, you ain't got a lie to kick it. I know what you made of. I know what's inside of you. You didn't ask me for all this other stuff, but watch what I'm going to do. I will give you riches. But saints, Solomon had already thought about riches. You know how I know that he thought about riches? Because his, his biological daddy is David. And David up there smelling good, living good, kinging. I'm going to say kinging and slinging, but kinging. I'll leave that slinging up. Kinging. And it's okay for you to laugh, <laughs> baby. <laughs> now, listen. David exposes his son to luxury. So Solomon has a knowledge of what it means to live luxuriously. But guess what? Solomon. He knows what matters. That wisdom is better than money because wisdom, it will actually attract money and protect the money when it comes. Money can't protect your wisdom, nor can it give you wisdom. But money is a product of wisdom. Wisdom is not a product of money. I got to go. Money! The spirit of wisdom can attract money, but the spirit of money can't attract wisdom. Somebody got to write that down. And so wisdom is greater because it can attract money. It can protect money and it can increase money. But money cannot attract wisdom. Well, well, watch this here. Oh my gosh, God is so smart, man. I just heard the Lord say, son, money can attract wisdom. But he said money, it can't obtain wisdom. It can attract it, but it can't obtain it. If you have a lot of money, you can meet who you want. You can just say, hey, man, I'm about to give you about 50000 man. And you, you, you can attract wisdom. But it can't obtain it. So, so wisdom can attract money, obtain money, increase money. But money can't do that. Money can just attract wisdom. It can just, it can just bring wisdom in its direction, but it can't obtain it. You can use money as an exchange to get somebody wise to consider you. But money is not wisdom. 
Money is a child of your wisdom. Wisdom is not the child of money. That's why you see so many people in the world. They're fools, but they got a lot of money. Saints, I think that that's very funny that so many people were so big on Joe Biden. Now all of everybody backing off because they finding out how high his taxes is. Now nah, keep on supporting him like he was doing, baby. Keep on. Keep on talking your talk. Keep on supporting him like he was doing. Don't trade, don't sell out now and try to come over by Trump team. Now stay where you was. Had all that mouth. The grass ain't greener on the other side. The grass ain't greener on the other side. <laughs> you gonna see me up there performing with Chris Brown. The grass ain't greener on me. Don't worry, that's not my real dance, man. That's I'm just playing around, man. That's not my real dance. So don't 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 take that serious, man. That's just that that's this just after hours dancing. This after hours. Like we we all on two percent. <laughs> Your phone not the only thing on two percent. You on one and a half. See, around this time, you be lower than your phone battery. Your phone battery be like, hey, baby, I've been here doing all day doing my job. What you what you time for? What you laying down for? You won't lay me down. You got me standing up in your hand while you, while you get to go sleep. Why I can't sleep with you. If phones could talk to you, your phone would be cussing you out. Why you pit me down here? Why you sitting on me? Hey, I don't want no hot booty on me. Come on, man. <laughs> if your phone says, what if your phone could talk to you? Man, stop giving me to that homeless man. I don't want, he might got COVID. Why you let him talk on me? Why you let him talk on me? You up there be eating chips and pinning the chips. Your phone like, hey, 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 I just got my hair done. I just got a new phone case. Why you? Why you messed up my clothes, my phone case, my phone case? Some of y'all be sitting on your phone up there. You know, good and well. Man, you're going to have to get that fixed. Got that hot booty on your phone. Get, 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 the, phone, get the, phone, the phone up there crying. Hey, 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 somebody help me. And then when you butt down people, your phone be like, I don't even want to call them. I don't even want to call them. Stop. They on the phone, you done butt down and toss. Oh, I ain't know you, I ain't know I called you your phone. Like, please stop. You be touching your phone when they don't want to be touched. Your phone like, hey, stop touching me. I'm trying to rest, man. That feel funny. Why you doing me like that? Why? If your phone could talk to you. If your phone could talk to you, you take a picture like that. Your phone says, stop, that's ugly. Girl, you don't look right. What? Why you got a flamingo neck? If your phone could talk to you, brother be up there trying to take a picture like that. He tried to take a picture. <laughs> His first name, Eddie. <laughs> if you laugh, you're going to hell. If you laugh on here, you're going to hell. <laughs> if, if you laugh at that joke, <laughs> I'm playing around. You're not going to hell. You're not going to hell. <laughs> you're not going to hell. I'm playing around with you. I'm joking. 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 <laughs> Angelic wealth bankers. The Lord always had more money than the money that you receive through a job or money that you receive in your bank account. He does that on purpose because your money is a mystery. That's why you can't unlock your money unless you pray in tongues. You will never have the money that God has for you until you become a tongue talker all the time. And I'm not talking about, you know, you know, you know, you, you, 
you 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 act so weird that people don't favor you that you always da, 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 da. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about you you have to become serious about your prayer language. Tongues gotta be everything to you because your your money is a mystery. Wow. Your money your money needs an interpreter. Your money needs an interpreter. So think about this. Wealth is a divine reward for interpreting heavenly money. Oh, Jesus. I'm giving y'all something on here. You don't have to watch the replay. I'm giving y'all something strong on here. I, I, want, I, I want you to hear this a second time. This got to be in your spirit. Some of y'all need to listen to this broadcast four times before 7 p.m. tomorrow. You need to listen to it four times before 7 p.m. tomorrow because this got to sit in your spirit. That's what I did. I listened to, to, to uh, the word of God about money and I let it sit in my spirit when God was rising me up in, in the money anointing. I read scriptures about money. I, I decreed about money. I, I, I willfully set my mind on the money anointing of the Holy Ghost. Because I knew that if I was going to do this major work for the Father, I would need the finances to do it. And I would need you to help me. That's another thing. You never step on people because people are going to be the ones that's going to help you step into your wealthy place in this earthly realm. Notice it's called favor with God and with men. The favor with men has a financial grace to it. And saints... That means that you're going to have to know who your boss is. When God gives you a boss, when God gives you a prophet, he, he's showing you and simplifying to you who you're supposed to impress. Shh, I got to go, man. I got to go, man. So much stuff on me. I don't know. Yeah, 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 yeah. The spirit of God will show you who you're supposed to impress. Huh? Something about to happen to you. Remember I declared 70, 71 days of miracles? Something already happened for you. Some, something already happened for some of y'all already. But it shall increase. I'm feeling something. I got it. I don't and see, whenever I talk like this, miracles always happen. Every time I talk like this, miracles always happen. Every time I talk about money, money miracles happen because I'm anointed about this. The Spirit of God anoint me about this because I sow every day of my life. I am a sower and I love giving to God. I love honoring God. I love listening to the Spirit about finances. And see, I became a seed and so God gave me the anointing for seed sowing and gave me anointing to receive seed from you that it will multiply and increase. I'm anointed for this. This ain't no gimmick. It's not no experiment. It is a error. It's an eternal grace and glory flowing in your direction as you're watching this. Something is scheduled to happen for you and the Lord want your faith to be ready to operate in it. And so he letting you hear the gospel of prophet Joshua Holmes. He letting you hear these proverbs. These are my gospels. Apostle had his gospels. Apostle Paul, Peter had his gospels. But saints, I get on here every day because these are my Gospels. Facebook, Periscope, these are my Gospels. Saints, the glory of the latter house was always destined by God to be greater than the glory of the former. There's a reason why he's doing that. Because the wisdom going to increase. The hunger for God increase. Never let your hunger die for the Holy Spirit. That's how he going to make you wealthy because your hunger never dies. You got to pay him number one. You have to be on, so, be on fire for God so strong that you're willing to do whatever, whenever, however. And not even look back and regret it. 
Saints, do you know that weariness is a form of regretting divine obedience? Oh, somebody needs to write that down. You won't have to watch the replay, man. There's so much stuff. You, you, you should watch this four times before 7 p.m. tomorrow. Oh, my God. Ha, 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 ha. Angels that are wealth bankers, angelic wealth bankers. Adam was surrounded by her, that her villa atmosphere. It was the place where the gold was good. Fine gold. Genesis chapter 2, I believe it's verse 11 and 10 and somewhere around there. But her villa was carrying all type of angels that was assigned to minister to Adam and bring him into money. Money graces, money places, money faces. Say, have you ever wondered why there's a face on money? The devil is a liar. It's not none of those people that you see on money that money faces on. The face of Jesus is on money for you. Saints, I want to say this even stronger. The face of your prophet is on money for you. The woman at Zarephath, who you think face was on her money? Elijah. That's why Elijah said, give me the food. Give it to me. My face is on your money. My identity is packaging your money. Your prophet is a portal to your prosperity. Your prophet is a portal to your prosperity. Why do you think God paid a prophet in your life? He's making it easy for you to step into the divine lottery. There's a jackpot of Jesus that come to jack up all satanic powers. If the strong man holding up your goods, why do you think that God said that he'll send you a prophet? The prophet is stronger than the strong man. That's why he said, if you believe the prophet, you will prosper. The strong man was stopping your prosperity. So why are you going to prosper when you believe the prophet? Because the prophet is stronger than the strong man. Saints, I'm about to say something that you never heard before. Samson was a prophet of God. That's why the angel said to his parents, don't let him drink certain stuff. That's the same thing that John the Baptist, John the Baptist wasn't drinking nothing strong. John the Baptist had a weird type of flow to him that was unusual. Samson was a prophet of God. Remember the prophetic instructions God gave him? Don't cut your hair. Samson was so prophetic that he knew how to find a donkey, donkey jawbone as the prophetic weapon to destroy the Philistines. He was so prophetic that he would know the moves of the Philistines before they moved. When they, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. See, see, this, this fresh, man, this fresh, this fresh. You can't, you can't fake this. You can't fake this, man. You can't fake this. I, and I've been teaching all day, right, basically? I've been teaching all these hours, huh? Think about that. Think about that. And I do this on the daily. See, I ain't knocking nobody, but there, there's men that, that stay six days and say that they're going to preach on Sunday and their message don't even be this hot. I do this on the regular. On the regular. Somebody touch your neighbor, say on the regular. <laughs> but on the regular. I got to go, man. I got to go. Glory to God. Watch the replay. Y'all understand all this stuff, right? Samson was a prophet of God. And saints, I just heard the Lord said the prophetic was on his parents. That's why his parents were seeing angels. One of his parents saw that angel, Manoah, or whatever his name was. He saw an angel. Wow. Wow. So he was a seer. That seer's anointing was flowing. Hallelujah. <laughs> if you believe the prophet, so shall you prosper. God put the prophet in your life.
because it's time for you to enter into your wealthy place. And saints, what's the opposite of wealth? Witchcraft. That's why the other spirit that fights you when your prophet come into your life is witchcraft so that you won't enter into the wealth. Saints, God said this to me before I got on here. The children of Israel was fussing with Moses, but all they got was hellfire. Moses is eternally in heaven. Moses came to bring them into more and more wealth because they already had their silver and gold, but now they was going to a higher glory. See, the prophet is carrying all type of financial levels in him. I know that since I've been preaching publicly, I know of over three people that have built houses from the ground up. I'm talking about architect, build it from the ground up. I would know at least the, to testify to me. Three people that built their house from the ground up. But I come to tell you that that's easy for God. If you believe you receive, you shall have it. Don't worry about nothing. Don't worry about nothing. You serve a good God. That's the, one, that's the wonderful thing about the seed. When I realize that the seed is you just laying on God's chest. Sowing is you just laying on God's chest and say, I know that you know how to take care of me. And God delights in that. Delight yourself in the Lord. He'll give you the desires of your heart. That ain't no lie. Don't let nobody bewitch you. That's real, man. God, and, and, and I ain't gonna lie to you. God will give you your fantasy. You up there dreaming about a certain type of house, a certain type of vehicle, a certain type of car, a certain type a certain type of wardrobe, you're you going to get it. Don't let nobody trick you. You're going to get it, baby. I got all type of wardrobes. I ain't even know. I'm up there, shoot. Sometimes you up there, you just want to pit on some clothes just to see, just in case the rapture comes. We don't know. We don't know. Just, just pit on just to see what's going on. You up there with, just, just pit it on just to see what's going on. Just see, just, just feel it. Just feel it. Just pit it on. You just making sure that you good. You know, just in case. I don't want to look from heaven and say I should have hit it. I, I did hit it. I hit it. I, I pit it on me. That's why I did. I hit it. That's why I did. I pit it. Pit it on me. That's why I did. I, so I did hit. I did hit it. I'm not going. Matthew chapter 21, verse 22. And whatever things you ask in, in prayer, believing, you shall receive. Saints, don't let nobody steal Jesus' words from you. Don't let nobody steal King Jesus' words from you. He said, whatsoever things you shall ask in prayer, believing, you will receive. When you name your seed. See, seed is financial prayer. That's why you got to name your seed because even a seed is a petition device. Solomon sold the seed and God said, what's your petition? My God. Because the seed is a petition device. God start investigating what are you looking for from me for you to even sow this. If you sow this, obviously you believe that I'm capable to create something for you. So what it is, what's up? All right, let me, uh, let me go out here because they try to get me. The club spirit. Somebody going to the club, you need to stop going to the club. 
That's what happened in Matthew chapter 21, verse 22. When club, club spirits on the line, that means a club come up off of me. That's, that's the word for you. You know who you is. Stop going to the club, baby. Stop going to the club. You know exactly who you is. You know, you know, so you think, you think that you're going to meet Floyd Mayweather in there. That's what you think. You think that you're going to meet Floyd Mayweather in there. Saints, I don't want to throw no shit. But you, you ever seen somebody like they wearing rich clothes, but the clothes don't look right on them? <laughs> you, you ever noticed that before? Like so, sometimes people be wearing the richest stuff and it don't look right on them. You like that? that I know that this is the wealth of the wicked because it don't look right. <laughs> like like it might even be a woman. Like she be up there telling, and she look like she. No, I don't want to say it out loud. I can't say that. I can't throw no shade on no daggone body. Well, yes, I can. She be looking like Sherry Shepard. She be like. <laughs> <laughs> Glory to God. Oh my God. That's Sherry Shepard. <laughs> oh my gosh. Glory to God. <laughs> Glory to God. All right. All right. That's all, folks. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha.